Hello everyone, I'm making a short video tutorial on how to install and set up the Galaxy S4 theme for Android. First of all, this is the theme. I made uh, the theme to my liking, to my vision of how uh, the home screen should look. Now, I'm pretty sure Samsung is not going to make exactly this theme, but I hope they're going to change the way the Galaxy S4 looks because I don't really like uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3's uh, software and user interface. I think it could look better, so I tried to make an own uh, theme. Anyway, this is the theme. I've made a dock at the bottom with the most used apps and the app drawer. And also a new uh, status bar at the top with the Galaxy S4 logo and the battery percentage and also battery bar and the time. Also a 4G uh, logo but that is just not going to change. That is just there to look good, you know. Anyway, um, this is the home page. I made four pages. The home page shows you the weather your calendar, uh, events, and uh, the month, the date, the day, year, which week it is of the year. You can click here to add a new event to your calendar. You also have uh, missed notifications down here. Then you have a social hub with social apps. Um, I just put my Twitter widget here. And there's also space for other icons if you like. Then there's a Google Hub with the Google Apps, YouTube Store, Google Maps and the calendar. And I put my YouTube widget here. Also a search uh, widget. And then the Media uh, Hub with movies, news, gallery and music. And I put a photo album widget here and some other apps so the idea is i i provide a couple of widgets which will kind of change the way your home screen looks because this is not how a normal phone looks with the status bar and the dock and with with these uh, widgets and you have still space to set your own uh, used widgets and uh, whatever you want other apps so for example i can make a new screen let's see I'm just going to put this widget on the blank screen and then I'm just going to add my music player So you can still resize it and uh, well do whatever you like with the uh, empty space. Anyway, um, after you download this theme, make sure you search for UCCW and install this app. You really need this app because my theme is made for UCCW. So install this app, it's free. Then search for Nova Launcher, which is also free. And there is also a paid version, but you can just use the the free version. It's very fast and uh, customizable, so I recommend it anyway. Now, after you have done that, I will show you on my Galaxy S2 how to add the widgets. First of all, go into Nova Settings, Desktop, choose the grid 7x4, width margin, none height margin small scroll effect I use the card stack one let's see dock make sure the dock is disabled and make sure the notification bar is disabled so these things are really necessary now you can 
uh, play around with the settings, maybe use a larger or a smaller grid or other uh, margins because the team won't look exactly the same on every type of uh, device. So it depends on your resolution, on your screen size and all that stuff. So you can just check out uh, Nova settings. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to add the widgets. Just press on widget. Go to ultimate custom widgets at the bottom. All widgets are 4x1 or 4x2. So I'm just going to add the status bar. Now, uh, yeah, first of all, these are the skins. You have your calendar. You have two docks, one which is uh, all blue and one with the white icons and blue uh, middle button. Then you have your Google uh, media and social apps you saw at the top. The notification widget you saw. You have um, the four top bars you need to set at the, at the top of the screen with Google, Home, Media and Social. There's also a simple um, status bar without any of the oh, any of the home screen uh, names. So, for example, you can use this one, and it will just show you the the status bar without the home uh, tag or any other tag. So let's see. 4x1 again also one more widget I forgot to show the galaxies for weather that is the weather widget so I'm just going to choose the dock the blue one so these two are 4x1 widgets and now I'm going to show you 4x2 widgets like this or this just gonna choose uh, media apps and just add, it, add another one 4 by one let's see so anyway um you get the point you can set up the entire team like this now when you press on an icon for the first time you're probably gonna see a weird screen and I'm gonna show you how that looks ignore this for a second now when you're gonna press on a widget you're probably gonna see this this is normal because uh, hotspots mode is off by default now what this means, um, I'm going to explain it as simple as I can. All these clickable areas I have set are hotspots. So when hotspots mode is off, you will not be taken into the app you have selected. But you are taken into an editing screen. And here you can actually choose your own apps for each hotspot. So let's say you use a different Twitter app or you use a different email app or a chat app I don't know you can choose your own ones right here so hotspot 2 is Twitter you can just press on hotspot 2 and you can choose any app you have on your phone you can choose a shortcut or you can choose UCCW which includes launching the alarm or going into the dialer other stuff so I don't have Twitter installed on my phone, but I have WhatsApp. So for the chat icon, I want to use WhatsApp. I just press on hotspot 4, choose app. Scroll down the list, choose WhatsApp, that's it. When you're done choosing your apps, you press back on your phone, and that's it. Now, after you do that, you can go into the UCCW app itself. Press the menu button and select hotspots mode, turn it on. 
and that's it now all these things are active so for example when I press phone I'm going into phone and when I press camera I'm taken into the camera app which I have not set yet correctly but if you set it it will be okay so that's the whole idea no I don't want to send an error you press music, I go into my preset uh, music player, power amp and you can do that for all the widgets you want now um, a couple of things in UCCW you can go into settings and choose your location and uh, in the update interval you really need to set your own location because otherwise the app won't give you the right weather information you can use Celsius or if you turn it off it will be set to Fahrenheit and some other stuff so that's also an important thing uh, let's see hotspots yeah I think that's it ah, also one more thing let's turn off hotspots mode again now I can edit the widgets if I press on the top one you can see I can edit the color for the battery level for the time and for the time format so if you're in the US and you use a different time format you can just choose your own time format which is pretty nice and also you can change the battery color and stuff like that so That's uh, that's the whole uh, tutorial. So after you do all these things, you will get a similar result. And I hope you guys like it. Um, and I hope the Galaxy S4 will be a good device. I have high expectations for it. So um, yeah, if you have any problems or questions regarding this team, feel free to email me. I will reply as soon as I can. If the team doesn't show up when adding UCCW widgets email me because I can send you a fix very easy fix which will uh, resolve the problem for you and uh, there is no need to leave a one star rating so thank you very much and uh, have fun with it